What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. Now before we get into the interview part of this video, I just thought I'd give you a little update on where I've been, where I'm at, where I'm going. I'm in England at the moment. I obviously spent some time in Hong Kong if you've been following me and I went to Barcelona just recently. I just arrived yesterday into the UK. I'll be spending the first week in and around London. So if you're around, give us a message. We'll, I'll be posting some events soon. But I've got a bit of backed up footage that I'll be uploading and just some debates just to give you an idea of how to talk to people. I think it's really effective. Also, as of Hong Kong, I was had, had it was a bit of a roller coaster for me. I had some ups and some downs, but I got through it and just rode the waves. I've got a lot in store. I've got a lot planned for the year. It's, it's going to kick off really on the first day of the year. I'm going to start travelling around. I've got some school uh, speeches, some university speeches booked. I'm heading up to Scotland, Liverpool, Manchester, uh, Ireland, all these places. So I'll be doing a fair bit. So stay tuned for that. But if, anyways, I just thought I'd give you a little update before we head into. Uh, my interviews and I'll be uploading a lot of debates. I've got a couple debates that I've had on the streets and I just think it's really good for you to see how I tackle these situations and then you can go out and execute it when you do your activism or if you're just at the dinner table and someone's giving you a bit of a hard time. But everything's going really well and I don't plan on stopping. I plan on getting more and more reach and just being more and more effective and more and more productive. And also a massive thank you to my Patreons who support me every step of the way. I couldn't do this without your help. So amazing that I've got you guys to help me out with my activism. I wouldn't be able to do it without you. Like I literally couldn't. So thank you so much. So I just did a little interview with an Indian man. It turned out really good. So check it out and I'll see you all in the next video. Boom. Okay, so here we are out here with the Hong Kong vegans are doing some VR headset activism and we're going to see what the public think of it. <laughs> actually do a virtual reality headset? Oh yeah, absolutely. And what did you think of it? Yeah, like... It's not a good way to treat the treat animals. animals. Yeah. What animals was it? Pigs. It was pigs. Okay. And uh, whereabouts are you from? Uh, I'm from India. India. Very big vegetarian population there, yeah? Ah, uh, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. The most of the uh, there are a lot of people uh, who don't eat meat. Okay. How about yourself? Um, like. I don't regularly eat meat, but yeah. yeah, like I don't have any issues with eating it. Like. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I used to eat animals a lot, all the time. Nearly every meal, I'd eat it three times a day more. Um, so, did, did empathising with those animals in the screen, when you were in the room with them, did that make you feel, you know, like you, you understood their suffering a little bit more? Um, it's okay. Like, because I, like, we more. already know, right? Like yeah, somebody had to die to give us the meat. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Do you think that that's justified? <laughs> no. Do you know what I mean? I know. We got, yeah. Like, like, do you think it's justified that an innocent being had to die so we could have a quick meal? Like maybe in a couple of years, like we will start saying that, like not even the plants would like to die, right, for giving oh, us. Well. I think there's a fundamental difference between a carrot and a uh, pig, like a carrot, when you cut them, they don't have a brain, they don't feel it, they don't. Mm. You don't think a, you think a carrot will feel it if I cut them, like a pig does? Like most of the pigs, they're, they're, like they are just born. Like maybe it's just good to kill them, right? Like no, so in the in the farms, like uh, in these. It's good to kill no, pigs. Like not good to kill them, but like because they are they are born for like they are like. No, I don't want to say it that way. Like, we raise like in the in the slaughterhouses, we like they raise them for the meat. Okay, right? I understand so, what you're like, saying. They're already yeah. suffering while they're living, like because they are uh, so. Well, they're suffering because of us. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I mean. Like, if we didn't eat them, we wouldn't breed them into existence right. for the sole purpose of killing them. Yeah. Uh, what? A, uh, let me put it to you like this: Is it necessary for you to eat meat? Like, is it uh, biologically yeah. necessary? Yeah. Okay. So why are we doing it to them for? Yeah, we can live without yeah. meat. Yeah, so we can live without causing this unnecessary harm. So why wouldn't we? Like, do you, do you, could you think of a reason why we eat meat? 
It tastes good. Okay, that's what we want to go for. It tastes good. Now, do you think if we derive pleasure from something, that it justifies an immoral act like murder? If we, if it makes us feel good, taste makes us feel good, yeah. Yeah, but have you thought about that? Yeah, like yeah. It's, uh, we can't justify yeah. that. Yeah, we can't justify. That. So the reason I stopped consuming anything from an animal was I understood that they have to suffer and die for a five-minute burger. Okay, and then I realized by being vegan, I can have that burger. Taste, we've got plant-based meat over there. Taste, not much different, okay? So I'm not missing out on anything, but what I am missing out on is an animal suffering and dying, being harmed or, or murdered on my behalf. But, okay, so like it, it depends on, like I, most of the time I eat outside, okay? Yeah. So I don't cook my own meat. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, it's very, it's, it's difficult to find places like, for vegetarian food, right? Yeah, but you know, Indian, you know, curries most of the time they got dal, they got chana masala, they got rice and, and uh, what's the bread called? Naan bread. Naan. A lot of the, the Indian traditional food isn't meat, is it? But you don't have uh, like a lot of places in in, in Hong, India uh, in Hong Kong like in Hong I'm Kong. About oh Hong yeah, Kong, yeah, well, Hong Kong vegans here they know where all the good spots are. But yeah, yeah, she gave me. Yeah, the, she gave you a list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what I what I just invite you to think about is like, do you believe in um, you know, you know, obviously a peaceful person? Yeah, are you Hindu? Do you believe in the concept, like yeah, yeah, yeah. the fundamental, you know, peaceful way of living? Yeah. Compassion to other humans. You, you offer human beings compassion, yeah? You don't believe that human beings should suffer unnecessarily, right? Yeah. Okay. So, do you think there's a difference in the way that animals want to live or feel pain to the way we do? Okay, so we have that in common. Okay, we are different, but we have but, that uh, yeah. in common. Okay, so, you, by, your own, by your own morals that you've just said, you're going against them by eating them animals. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, but, yeah. But like, like the only thing is like, if I have enough options in yeah. vegetarian, then I, then I, yeah, I can give up. So if you if you knew that the way to do it, you know how to, what to eat, how to avoid it, you'd consider definitely doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for I, sure. I'll, I'll, uh, like, I'll like to give it a try. Excellent. Because at the early days, you just think. I was eating a certain way for many years, 26 years. How am I gonna, what am I gonna eat? That's what I, I didn't even know what, where to start. But if you've got people to help you where to start, what to eat, it makes it a lot easier. And after a few weeks, you feel like this violence, this, this essentially it's a body of someone who didn't want to die and it's in our stomach, okay? And when you clear yourself of that, it's, it's almost like you have a clarity of mind then. It's good for us too, healthy for us too. How about I give you this card here? How are you pretty good with English? Like typing and stuff? On Facebook? Not too bad? Uh, no clue. Anyway, here's a challenge. That's a capital J, that's a capital V. Hmm. Challenge 22, it's a 22 day vegan challenge and they help you on Facebook every step. Here's some more information about the dairy industry. You know, uh, India is the biggest exporter of beef because they're the biggest, one of the biggest dairy producers on earth. So all those dairy cows, they go where? When, they're, when they can't produce milk. So they sell them for meat? They get, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. It's crazy that India cares about cows yeah. so much, but they, send, they, they condemn them all to slaughterhouses when they don't produce milk, so. But I'm sure most of the population in India doesn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that, yeah. I don't think that. Interesting, yeah? So vegan's the word. <laughs> Thanks, brother. What's your name? Aman. Aman. Nice to, nice to talk to you. Thank you so much for the interview, brother. Thank you, Thank Thank you brother. So I'll see you all in the new year. Keep following my channel, keep following my videos, and keep shining that light.